Hello all and welcome to this hands-on lab. In our lab today, we will learn how to recover deleted objects from a S3 bucket. A couple of things to keep in mind before we proceed further ahead. Using AWS services leveraged in this lab might incur charges. Hence, ensure that you clean up all resources after completing this lab. Scenario for our lab today. You have an existing S3 bucket with a few objects in it. You need to delete one or more objects stored in this bucket and then recover them back successfully. This is the reference URL. Actually, I stumbled upon this during one of uh, the sessions that I was having with my team, right? And we had a scenario wherein, let's say, if the object was deleted by mistake for whatsoever reason, then is there a way to restore it again? And uh, while searching on the web, etc., I stumbled upon this particular URL, which actually had the solution. This is part of the AWS documentation. In fact, I have this particular URL open right here. So do visit this particular URL. Uh, the title of this page is, how do I undelete a deleted S3 object, right? And all the steps and everything are mentioned right here. And this is exactly what we are going to do in our lab today. But uh, do visit this reference URL, right? I'll have it posted in the description. Steps for our lab today. In order to understand how you can restore a deleted object from S3, these are the steps that we are going to follow, right? So first we will create an S3 bucket. Then we will add a text file to it or an image file to it, whatever file you have. Right, you will enable versioning for the bucket. Finally, you will select one of the files to delete permanently. And then we will see how we can delete the delete marker of the file, right? And basically restore the file all over again. So let's get started, right? This is pretty easy. I'm not gonna come back to the steps, but I just put something over here so that in case you wanna reference it, you can. But uh, let's just go ahead and do this. So this is my AWS console. Let's create a bucket over here, right? So I'm gonna say my S3 lab bucket, right? I hope this name is available and I'm gonna keep everything default. Versioning is disabled, encryption is disabled and I'm gonna click on create bucket, bucket. Okay, I'm gonna say bucket one. You can give any name that you like. I'm just giving a name which is unique over here. Click on create bucket, right? So our bucket should be created successfully. So our bucket has now been created successfully. The next thing that we are going to do is we are gonna go inside a bucket and we are going to upload a couple of files. Now I have a few image files over here. If you want, as I mentioned in the steps, you can also use a text file or for that matter of fact, any file that you want, right? So I'm gonna try and upload some of these files. Right, so click on upload and say add files. And I am basically just going to go there and upload these three files right there. So these three files are going to be uploaded and they should be uploaded in a little bit. There you go. So when they are uploaded, the upload is complete. Now we go back to our S3 bucket and we'll see all of them here. Now let's go ahead and delete this file for uh, Toronto. Okay, so I'm gonna select this file. I'm gonna delete it. And I'm gonna say, I want to, yes, I want to permanently delete this file. So delete this object. Okay. And the, this particular file has been deleted. So if I go back over here in the S3 bucket, right? That particular file that was torrent or JPEG has now been deleted. And let us see if we have any way to undelete this particular file. 
So that file has been deleted. And I let's see if I can undelete it in any way. So does it give me an undelete option? No, it does not. So right now in this particular bucket, there is no way for me to recover the deleted file. If I want to do that, if, if my client wants that flexibility, right? That, hey, my file is deleted, I need to be able to recover the deleted file. In that case, what we will need to do is we will need to enable versioning for our bucket. Okay, so let's go to properties right here. And then you see bucket versioning, it is disabled right now. Edit. And here we will enable versioning and save changes. So now our bucket has versioning enabled. We still have a couple of files existing in our bucket. So let's go back to the object and let's look at them. Right? So now let's say we go ahead and click on golden temple. And I'm gonna go ahead and delete this file. And I'm gonna say, delete and delete objects and the file should be deleted if i go back over here you will basically see that that particular file has been deleted successfully now let us see if we have a way to undelete or restore this file right the file has been deleted permanently it's gone but if we want to delete, uh, say recover this particular file, the deleted file, right? Click on list versions. And then over here, if you see there's a delete marker for golden temple. What we want to do is we want to go ahead and delete the delete marker, right? So we are going to go ahead and delete this particular delete marker. So click on delete and say yes, permanently delete, delete objects. Go back to S3. And now, since we deleted the delete marker, okay, that means we actually undeleted the file. You should see the file being restored back over here in the bucket. So there is our file right there. And if you again go back and list versions, you will see the two original versions of this particular file. So guys, this is how you recover a deleted file from an S3 bucket, okay? This is a very, very important feature. And that's why I thought that I'll create a video on this. This feature can actually come in very handy. And just like, you know, you know, if any of your clients, et cetera, are uh, asking for something like this, right? Then you can certainly leverage this particular feature. And one another thing I want to showcase to you is if you go to properties, right? And let me zoom in a little. I'm gonna make it a little big right? so you can read it. Over here for versioning, read this. Right, so versioning is a means of keeping multiple variants of an object in the same bucket. You can use versioning to preserve, retrieve, and restore every version of every object stored in your Amazon S3 bucket. The last line is the key, key line over here. With versioning, right, you can easily recover from both unintended user actions and application failures. So the versioning capability of this S3 bucket or any S3 bucket is basically allowing us to recover a deleted file. Let's say by mistake, if that file got deleted, right? Or if there was something that went through, went wrong through an application, you will be easy be able to recover that particular file if needed. So guys, I hope that 
uh, this particular video was helpful do post your feedback do explore this feature okay you need to know how this feature works and let me know what your comments are so that's it from me i will see you shortly in some other video till then take care and bye bye